Well, here's the new project. I haven't turned it on yet. So you can still see through. I don't know if it's coming up on the camera, but you can, when I look through it, I can see the water level in it. But I have a tube coming out of every spacer. As of right now, they're just capped off. I take them caps off to fill it up, squirt it out of a bottle. I have one of the caps I made for the bubbler with a hose coming out. The line's coming out the top of every spacer. So custom uh, manifold, I guess you would call it. It's two layers thick through the, I guess what you would call the back of it. I drill a hole from the tube up in, all four of them, and then if I could flip this around and show you the inside, I drilled a hole from the inside to the tube. So it connected all four of them to the inside space, and then I hot glued the top piece on with the big line coming out of it. And you can see it working, it's really cool whenever I plug it on. Alright, everything's on. I don't have it connected yet. It's zero amps. So there's nothing else hooked to the cell. The charger. And the output. I'm plugged in. I'll leave it run for a few minutes. Now it is, as of right now, it's heating up. I only have four gaps. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to open it up to 12 gaps, running them all in true series. I don't know if the bubbles in the manifold are going to come out. I think you can see it. But here's the meter reading. 1.131. And the cell is at room temperature. It's been sitting up on the counter. I know the amps are going to go up. Like I said, I'm still getting, I don't know, 3 volts per gap or something like that. Way too much. I'm not sure if the bubbles are going to come out. You can hear it standing here. I'm going to find my lighter. Shit. Of course, my lighter is going to dead. And I really, I have, I still have a drip. This wasn't the show cell leakage, it was the show volt leakage. So I still have some uh, electrolyte coming out. Which I'm going to fix it. It was just, I just stuck it all together to see what happened. And see my amps are still climbing. I left it run for about two hours last night and ended up getting up to two amps. But I think from what everybody's saying... The hotter it gets, the higher my amps go. So once I get that fixed, my amps should be steady. I'm still not sure about doing a manifold like this for the water coming in. I'm going to have to try one and see what the benefit is of flowing water in. Because I'm just using these little tiny lines, so I tried to just be flowing gas. But I've had it running for, like I said last night, about two hours. And then at that point, I don't I don't have none of my seals lined up real good. I was too excited putting it together, so after a little bit, I get a good bit of leakage. But still making bubbles. And I'm not trying to show that I have a crazy output. Just that it's happening at 1.2 amp, 12 volt. 
All right, any questions, hit me up. Thanks, guys.